So, so my dad lived in England um, for most of my childhood years. So I grew up with my stepfather. Um, but I think for me as a child, I, my father kept a very close, kept in close touch with us. Uh, my brother and myself, who were my mom's two children with my dad. And throughout the, the first 10 years of my life, um, while my father was not present, he lived in England, um, we remained connected to him through writing letters. And it was through writing those letters, he corrected the English language, the grammar, the writing, you know, so we got another lesson, you know, um, in terms of how we should be, you know, as, as youngsters. So, and we developed a very close bond. I had a very close relationship with my dad. Um, his advice, his guidance um, along the way as a youngster, you know, proved very useful, you know, to me. And when, it, when I met him for the first time, I was 10 years old. Um, and of course, that was a great day. You'd never believe that we had not known each other, you know, at all. Um, I grew up with my stepfather too. And I think the critical thing for fathers is that sense of identity that they present to you very early, you know, in terms of who you are you know, and where you are headed and giving you that focus, you know, as a youngster. So I was shielded really on both sides, you know, um, in my in my literary moments. My dad was shaping and helping guide that. And of course, being, you know, a youngster within a home, you know, because my mom was married. Um, yeah, I was guided by my stepfather as well. So and that relationship was very good. Um, so for me, I've had very pleasant experiences with men in my life. Um, and that's why it was so easy to make the choice of a husband now who turned out to be perhaps one of the best fathers we've known. Um, and so from, from a wife's perspective, looking at my husband, um, I think he really was the, the, the best father any children could have had. You know, being there for them and, and participating in every aspect, you know, of their life. And I think um, it's, it's just a great testimony. As Minister for Culture and Creative Industries, I really want to wish the entire nation um, a happy Father's Day and of course encouraging them to continue to to be fathers and be there for the children because it, it really makes them better individuals doing that there's somebody that they can count on they can rely on um, and somebody who's been there to give them direction and guidance you know and and somebody who's been able to help them to be composed you know and be confident